Hi. Today I'm going to read a book called The Best Story. I know a lot of people are at home doing school and are being asked to write. So this is a story about a girl who needs to write a story. The Red Brick Library was having a contest. Write the best story, win first prize. First prize was a ride on the super duper looper roller coaster with my favorite author, Anne Miles, who wrote The Runaway Roller Coaster. Wow, first prizes don't get any better than that. I ran home, went to my room, shut the door. I sharpened five pencils, opened my notebook to a brand new page and thought and thought and thought. And all I could think was this writing stuff was hard and lonely. Maybe I needed help. I told my brother Tim about the contest. The best stories, said my brother Tim, have lots of action. So I wrote a lot of action into my story. I wrote about a bus hurtling down the highway with no one at the wheel. I added a tornado and a pirate and a great white shark. But the story didn't seem quite right. So I asked my dad and he said, the best stories have plenty of humor. So I changed the great white shark to a monkey and I put the monkey at the wheel of the bus and I turned the tornado into turnips and I dressed the pirate in polka dot pajamas. Dad laughed so hard, he popped a shirt button. Even so, this story didn't feel quite right either. Along came Aunt Jane. What are you doing? She asked. I'm writing a story, the best story for a contest at the library. I can win a roller coaster ride with my favorite author. Oh, well then, said Aunt Jane, here's all you need to know. The best stories are the ones that make people cry. So I gave the bus a flat tire. I sent the monkey to the funeral of his pet goldfish. I turned the turnips into onions and I made the pirate chop every one. There were lots of tears, but the story still wasn't right. My teenage cousin Annika said, I have news for you. If it's not romantic, it's a loser. So the pirate introduced the monkey to his sister Grace and they fell in love. And I turned the onions into wedding invitations and everyone lived happily ever after. Finally, my story was ready. So I read it to my family.
Not enough action, said my brother Tim. Maybe the monkey can fall into the wedding cake, said Dad. That would really be funny. It's hard to cry at a wedding when the groom is a monkey, said Aunt Jane. Annika said it would be perfect if I added a kiss. In all this time, my mother hadn't said a word. So I asked her, what do you think is the best story? She gave me a hug. I think the best story is one that comes from the heart, your own heart. That night after supper, I looked into my own heart and rewrote my story. No more monkey, no more pirate, no more wedding invitations, no more happily ever after. My new best story is about my family and my two best friends, Tara and Josh. It's about my cat, Ollie, who sleeps on his back and snow days and toast with strawberry jam it's about fireworks and rainbows and bike rides. My biggest problem was keeping the story short. Once I started pulling things out of my heart, it was hard to stop. When my story was finished, I turned it in to the judges. Maybe I'll win that roller coaster ride with Ann Miles, and maybe I won't. Either way, I'll be happy. I'll be a winner because the story I wrote is my own and not somebody else's. And that makes it the best. Have fun writing your stories, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye bye.